our research was focused on trying to find a new gene which uh, is causative for familial ALS. To do this, what we had is actually two families that had ALS within it. We took two members from this family and actually sequenced uh, all of the genes in the, the entire genome for these two families. Once we had that, what we started to do is look for different changes that occurred in the DNA among these people that we sequenced. And what was very interesting is when we started to look at these, we found one change which was in common between these two families, which caused a mutation in a gene. This gene is called, caused profilin 1, and one of the functions of this gene is actually in, uh, uh, in the function of the cytoskeleton. And the cytoskeleton is essentially the, the, the skeleton for the cell. And what this protein actually does is to uh, extend the, the cytoskeleton in different regions so the uh, axons can go in different directions, they can expand. And uh, it, so our idea here was basically if we had a defect in this protein, maybe it's altering how axons can actually grow. So one of the things that we actually did next is to actually see if we actually put this mutant protein into cells, into axons, did it actually affect how these axons actually grow? Uh, and when we did that, we actually found that by having this mutant, mutant protein in there, it actually restricted the amount of growth that we actually saw as compared to the normal profilin protein. Uh, the next thing that we actually did was also to look to see if this protein actually um, created aggregates in the cell. Uh, aggregates are a common uh, hallmark feature of a lot of neurodegenerative diseases, including ALS, Parkinson's, and Alzheimer's. And what was very interesting to us is when we did put the mutant protein in there, it actually formed these aggregates or clumps, as we call them, within the cell itself. Yet if we put a normal version of this protein in there, it did not form aggregates. And as a result, this gives us a lot more uh, information on what is actually going wrong with this protein.